Perhaps the most exciting news OU coaches received during the offseason was that all Big 12 cornerback Aaron Colvin would return for his senior season. Now with Colvin going through his final spring as a Sooner, he's being looked to as the leader of this Oklahoma defense. Now the biggest question regarding cornerbacks is who will start opposite of Colvin come this fall. Well, anytime you've got a, a guy that's got a lot of experience that, that's on top of being experienced as a good player, quality player, uh, those guys are pretty easy to coach. Personally, I'm trying to be more of a leader out here, and um, I've always been more of a, a lead by example type of guy, but you know, I've been trying to step up and talk more. Anytime you're a starter and a guy that's started for three years, uh, the leadership role is going to fall on you, and, and he's done a great job of, of taking that on. and, and uh, you know, he's, he's not necessarily a rah-rah guy or a holler guy, but he leads by example. He leads his teammates in the way he works and his, and his work ethic and the way he plays on the field is, is the way he leads. You know, I kind of look up to him cool. I mean, I've been here for like a year and a half with him now. I mean, he's a great player, and I'm just glad to be on the other side of him. What has it been like kind of being looked to as not just for the cornerbacks but this entire defense as a leader? Um, you know, it's, it's kind of somewhat of a high school feel. Um, you know, in high school you kind of – you have that one guy that's usually a standout, and um, that's how it kind of feels like, you know, I see some of the younger guys looking at me, watching what I do, so I'm always conscious of, you know, what I'm doing. So um, this year, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, really help the guys and whatever they need help me with, but also be able to, you know, do it to show them so, you know, I can lead by example. And how has the competition been for that other spot opposite of him? Well, it, it, it's good, and, uh, you know, we've got, we've got uh, you know, an open spot, and uh, Cortez Johnson is competing well there. We've got Zach. Uh, Sanchez competing there as well, and Brandon Young, a, a young walk-on guy. Uh, but uh, those guys are young, but they're they're energetic, they're enthusiastic, they're hungry. They wanna they wanna get on the field, they wanna do good. Uh, so I've been real pleased with them to this point. Cortez, he's a really big, strong guy, and um, it's really hard to get off the press with him. And then Zach, he's more of the quick twitch guy. So um, those two guys over there, they're battling, and it's been fun to watch. And I'm just still trying to get it right in things. I mean, I got to work on a lot of things, like my footwork and. Once I get that together, we're going to be all right. And Coach Wright, coaching cornerbacks this season, what's it been like with him taking over for the cornerbacks? It's been good. You know, Coach Wright, he's a character, so uh, we, we're always on our toes with Coach Wright. We, we really never ever know what to expect. So, uh, you know, when we go out here, you know, Coach Wright actually recruited me. So um, it's been good to play for him, and, you know, that's actually what I expected when I came in here. He's been real hard. Like, I feel like he's been real hard, particularly on me, because, like, he knows that I got a lot of potential. It's a position I've coached, you know, many, 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 many years. So uh, it's fun to get back here with those guys again. Got some good guys to work with. They're working hard. And, uh, you know, the excitement of spring and the excitement of something new again, it's always good for players and coaches. So we're having a good time with it. The Sooners will get a week off for spring break and will return to the field March 25th. For all of your spring football coverage and updates, be sure to keep it right here on Soonersports.com.